Hey, my friends, welcome back. We are doing lesson 13 in phonics. Let's get busy. Share my screen with you. Let me get all this stuff up here too. And we get it in present mode. All right, lesson 13. Our learning is I can blend and segment two syllable words. I can use the pronouns I, you, she, it, and he in sentences, and I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story, dark clouds and wind. So two syllable words, let's practice segmenting some bl with blending and two syllable words, and I can't talk apparently. So two syllable words, sunset, s a n three, s a e t three, good. Book bag, b u k three bag, b a g three cupcake, k a p three cake, k a k three because the a and the e work together. Let's do hornets, h or that's two n a e t s four hornets. Hanger, ha, a, er, oh, excuse me, ha, a, ng, three, er, one. Okay, review our pronouns we have learned so far. He, she, I, you, and it. Now remember, when we replace a noun with another word, this is called a pronoun. So for example, Kate, we would replace it with she. So let's practice sentences with pronouns. You are wearing a green shirt. What's the pronoun there? You, very good. Now I'm gonna write some sentences on the board and we're gonna underline the noun or the noun phrase that is the subject in each sentence. The princess scratches her leg. Who is that sentence about? The princess, so that's the subject. What could we replace the princess with? She, good, she scratches her leg. Great job. <clears throat> Our house is large. What is that sentence about? Our house. So what could we replace our house with? It, it is large. Great job. The prince has a loud voice. Who is that sentence about? The prince, who could, what could we replace the prince with? He. He has a loud voice. Francis asked him, can blank ride horse? So who wants to ride the horse? Francis, so he's asking for himself. So it's gonna be, I can I ride the horse? Because it's Francis talking. Mom said, yes, Francis, I can ride the horse. What's gonna go in that blank? You, you can ride the horse because you is talking about Francis. All right, so let's look at our worksheet 13.1. Let me escape out of this, get rid of this bar again. And our worksheet, nope, wrong one. Here we go, 13.1. So you've got the pronouns he, she, and it. You've got your subject underlined. You've got to replace that underlined word with one of those pronouns. Easy peasy, right? Okay, you've got those six right there to do, and that will be it on that sheet, okay? So we'll get that one set up and let's go back to our slide. So we are going to start our reading. It's called Dark Clouds and Wind. Today's story is about what the Spencers do when they see a dark cloud off to the west. So let's preview some spellings. The S, that sounds like an S, like Spencer, face, glances, and place. We have the CE that also sounds like a S, S chance. And then we also have the SE that sounds like an S, like house. Our double spellings, that means our double letters, Jill, matter, stuff, pepper, shutters. 
And then we've got other two syllable words, morning and finish. So let's preview our vocabulary word. Let me get my book here, friends. Okay, we've got the word basement, basement, shutters, and darts. Our word basement is a part of the building that is entirely below ground. Shutters is the outside covers for a window that open and close like a door. And darts means to run or move quickly or suddenly in a particular direction. All right, so let's read today's story to find out where the Spencers go when they see a storm brewing. Let me get rid of our bar and let's get to our story. Dark clouds and wind. The next morning when the Spencers wake up, the sun is out. Larks sing in the treetops, socks and pants hang on the line. It seems like the perfect chance to have a picnic. The Spencers sit down next to the house and munch on their lunch. As they finish up, Mr. Spencer glances up and sees dark clouds off to the west. The smile on his face fades. What's the matter? Jill asked. It looks like there's a storm off to the west, says Mr. Spencer. The clouds get darker and the wind picks up. I don't like the look of it, Mr. Spencer says to his wife. Let's pack up and take the children down into the storm shelter just to be safe. The Spencers pick up their picnic things. The, they stuff the food in the picnic basket. Grace grabs the cups and napkins. They take the basket down into the storm shelter. The storm shelter is like a basement. It is a safe place where the Spencers can take shelter in a storm. Once they are down in the shelter, Mr. Spencer starts to lock up the shutters. No, Grace shouts, not yet, Pepper's still out there. Mr. Spencer darts out of the shelter to get the dog. Soon he is back, he is dripping wet, but he has Pepper in his arms. There they are. All right, so let's back to our, I believe we're going to go straight into our worksheets. We are, so we're, let's go back out to our worksheets. And let's look at it. Dark clouds and wind. What did Mr. Spencer see as they finished up lunch? Do you remember what he was looking at? If not, go back into the story and look. Okay. Number two, what do the Spencers do when the clouds get darker and the wind picks up? What do they do? Where do they go? Number three, what is a storm shelter? We talked about what it's similar to. Okay. And number four, what did Grace shout as Mr. Spencer started to lock up the shutters? What did she shout about? Hmm, she was missing somebody. Okay, so let's get back into our slides there. All right, and then you've got a take home worksheet. We will escape out again. We're doing a lot of escaping in this today, aren't we? And in this worksheet, it is a reread of the band. So practice reading about the band, okay? You've got two sheets there with the story on it. Practice reading. And our learning targets. Remember, we can blend and segment two syllable words. I can use the pronouns I, you, she, it, and he in sentences, and I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story, dark clouds and wind. So friends, that is the end of our lesson today, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye guys.